Hi, I'm Sanku64 on Scratch and GitHub, and today we're taking a look at what's new in Scratch add-ons version 1.34. The first new add-on is Arrow Key Incrementation Editor, which lets you use the up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the number values in block inputs. There are settings to change how much they're changed by when using just the arrow keys or holding down Shift or Alt. By default, normal arrow key presses changes the value by 1, holding Shift changes it by 10, and holding Alt changes it by 0.1. The next new add-on is the Compact Editor Theme which decreases the size of buttons, input fields, the menu bar, and other elements in the editor, making more space for components such as the code area, the costume editor, and costume previews, like in Scratch 2. There's also an option to show or hide the button labels in the costume and sound editors. As you can see, there's already more space to work with. But if you need even more space, you can enable the auto-hiding block palette and hide stage and sprite properties add-ons. And here's how it looks with all the Scratch 2 themes applied. Another new add-on is Cooldown Display for Posting on the Forums, which displays how much time is left before the 60 second rule is up. As you can see, the number of seconds until the next time I can post is displayed on the Submit button. And the last new add-on in this update is the Customizable Link Style theme. In the future, we'd like to expand this add-on to add more accessibility features. The options are bold, which doesn't apply to everything because some links are already bold, and underlined. When underline is selected, you have the option to change the underline style to dash or dotted. There are also some new settings in this update. The first one is in the non-draggable sprites and editor add-on, which now has the option to allow dragging sprites while the project is stopped. I can't drag the sprite right now, but if I stop the project, now I can. When Scratch changed to using purple on the site, they also changed the message badge color on the messages page. Now both badge colors can be changed with the website dark mode and customizable colors add-on. We also added a couple new presets to this add-on. First is the Scratch 2 preset. Next is the Scratch 2 2015 preset, which was used on the front page until 2018. And in a patch release, we added the previous Scratch 3 blue preset. And the last new setting is the Remove Borders option in Compact Messages. As you can see, the borders are gone now. The fixed footer option in infinite scrolling has been removed because the behavior was kind of strange and it can still be accessed from the front page. If you found this setting useful, let us know and we'll consider re-adding it, but it's disabled by default. And finally, the 60fps project player mode add-on has gotten a proper icon instead of just changing the fly's color. And that's all in this update. If you prefer reading or just want to catch up on some previous updates which didn't have videos, you can check out our blog. Bye.